안녕! 엔카 눈가 찐다! 오늘은 읽어줄 차례가 찾아볼게요. 여기 있어요. From enemy to friend. 읽어드릴게요. Saul was a religious man, a Pharisee. He thought that anyone who believed in Jesus was spreading a lie and should be put in prison and even put to death. 
So Peter and some others went with them to Caesarea. Cornelius' house was filled with his friends and family, eager to hear Peter speak. Journeys for Jesus. Paul believed that God wanted him to tell Gentiles about Jesus. So he made three trips through Syria, Turkey, and Greece. Many people believed in Jesus, and many churches were started. Years later, Paul returned to Jerusalem. Some people were upset by his teaching and attacked him. He was unfairly arrested. Since Paul was a Roman citizen, he asked for his trial to be in Rome. Paul was put on a boat headed for Rome. The trip was slow. Let's wait in Crete until the stormy season is over, Paul suggested. The captain sailed ahead anyway.
boarded another ship and went to Rome, where Paul was chained in a house. While there, he wrote letters to teach the new churches around the world. His letters are now included in the Bible. A forever promise. John was a disciple of Jesus. One day, Jesus came to him in a vision, shining like the sun. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. I died. Now I live forever. John saw a new heaven and a new earth, God's promised new creation. The first heaven and the first earth were gone, and the sea with them. Next, John saw God's holy city. The new Jerusalem. It was coming down from heaven. It was beautiful, like a bride on her wedding day, ready to meet her husband. <laughs> then John heard a loud voice coming from the throne of God, saying, "From now on, God will make His home among His people." And they will all live together. In this new heaven and new earth, there won't be any tears because no one will be in pain and no one will die. Those things are gone forever. Then the voice from the throne said, I am the beginning and the end. If you are thirsty, come to me, and I will give you the water of life. My new world is for my children, those who are faithful to me. I'm making all things new. It's true. You can count on it. <웃음> 네, 간다. 이번에는 이거 읽어 드릴게요. God's good news. 읽어 드릴게요. In the beginning, God made everything. He made it perfect. He made us too in his image. He loves us. And wants to have a relationship with us. Sadly, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That sin brought death into the world and broke our relationship with God. It also broke God's perfect world. Sin spread throughout the whole world. Everyone sins, and the result of sin is death. But sin couldn't stop God from loving us. He had a plan. <laughs> Because of his love for us, God sent His Son, Jesus, into the world. Sin broke our relationship with God, but Jesus came to fix it. Jesus healed sick people and performed many other miracles. He welcomed lonely people. He taught people about God's love. His perfect life shows us what love looks like. Even though Jesus never sinned, he 
he died on a cross for our sins because he loves us. By doing this, he was carrying out God's plan to fix our relationship with him. Oh! Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, breaking the power of sin and death. He spent time with his followers, teaching them. Then he returned to heaven. Now, Jesus lives forever. Jesus did not leave us alone. He sent his Holy Spirit to live inside everyone who trusts him. The Spirit gives us power to live the way God created us to live. <laughs> One day, when Jesus returns, God will make everything perfect again. He will make a new heaven and a new earth. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will live with him forever. God loves you. He created you one of a kind. Trusting and following Jesus fixes our broken relationship with God. Are you ready to be a part of God's story? Bye bye!